Firefox is probably the best browser out there. And I'll tell you why, because of the plugins, all the things you can add to the browser. And one of my favorites is Adblock. <laughs> and Adblock is like the best one because it can block uh, advertisements on web pages, things like that. Anyway, the way it works in here, you know, normally when you have your web browser up, you see how this looks? There's a style, it's gray, and the buttons, what they look like. Well, you can actually go to add-ons, and you can go to things like themes, and I already downloaded one, and I'll just show you as an example, and I'm going to click use this theme, and then I have to restart Firefox in order for it to take effect, but now you see my buttons are different. All of this is, looks different. It's a different style. There are gobs of themes out there. If you go to the tools menu and go to add-ons, and you go to get add-ons, and click on the Browse All Add-ons button over here to the right, the link. There are gobs of things, and if you want to look at themes, they're a little hidden because there's categories right here, but you've got to scroll down a little bit, and there's themes. When you click on that, people have taken a lot of time and made a lot of different cool themes that can make you, your browsing experience a little more personalized, a little more uh, you. So. You can take a look at the different ones, Chrome, Silver, ones that make it look more like a Mac, some make it look more like Internet Explorer, so it depends on what you like. And that's just appearance. This is the surface. The real fun stuff goes into when you get into the categories of different things that you can do, and that's alerts and updates, bookmarks, download management feeds, blogging, all kinds of things that you can do. If you scroll down here, you'll see a few of them. Let me see, go to the, here we go. These are recommended ones that they show. And if you go to popular, you'll see the ones that most people pick up. And there's that ad block plus. It's so great because Safari doesn't have anything like this. And if you hate the ads and they're just constantly getting in your way, then ad block plus is nice. What you do typically is you click on the link and then you click on the add to Firefox. Now I've already added it here um, to ad block. And you can tell because it's right here under my tools button. And, if, and one of the things you do, once you download it, I should point out to you, because this isn't entirely intuitive. Once you download and you restart Firefox, you need to go to the Adblock Plus preferences, and you need to subscribe to one of the lists, okay, for one of the filters. And there's a whole bunch of them in here um, for different countries. And what I've done is I've chosen the one for the USA because I'm located in Virginia in the United States of America. So I choose that one, you click OK, and then it goes through and it'll filter out some of the ads. For example, let me go back to Safari for a second. And here's, an, here's a, a web page that they've got. Let me shrink that down just a little bit. And they have this little ad up here. Let me hit refresh on this to kind of make sure everything shows the way it should. And you notice they'll have an animated little ad up here, and it gets a little distracting when you're trying to read an article. Or if you click on a hot article, and this one's over here moving. This is doing blinky stuff up here, driving you a little bit nuts. Well, you can get rid of that here because when I go to this site, and I go to Google and I type in uh, Mac World, and I go to their website, I don't get that little blinky ad up here. I click on that first story again. Just to compare, this one goes Macworld Business Center straight into the article. This one has above the Macworld Business Center this ad. It's kind of blinking. It's a bit distracting. Adblock Plus gets rid of those. So if you're annoyed by certain ads that just drive you nuts, that's what you want to do. You want to go with Firefox and click the ad and add the Adblock Plus. But there's a lot of others in here. Adblock is one of the best ones. Um, and you go to Add-ons. Actually, I have it right here. There's a lot of others, and if you just take a browse through some of the popular ones or just added, you get an idea of some of the best ones that's out here. Video Download Helper, easy way to download and convert web videos from hundreds of YouTube-like sites. So if you go to a YouTube and you watch Ask the Techies and you say, wow, I'd like to download this one and save it so I don't have to be on the internet in order to watch this video again, then you can use a program like that to get it off of YouTube. And I'm okay with that. Feel free to go ahead and do it. That's one of the programs you can do. Uh, there's other flash downloaders. You can search for certain things. So if I wanted to search for Flash, or let's say uh, Gmail. And here we go. There's a lot of different little plugins, the add ons that you can do for Gmail. Keep in mind that some of them are limited to only certain browsers. So let's say like Gmail Manager. This tells you a little bit about what it does. 
and some of them are limited to only working with Mac version of Firefox, some of them only work with Windows version of Firefox, and some of them only work with certain versions of Firefox. So keep, in my, keep an eye on there as far as works with. Firefox 3.5, this one works with the most recent version, so it's a great program. Some of them haven't been updated in a while, so they only work with an older version of Firefox, so be aware of that. But there's gobs of them in here. If you wanted to learn, uh, there's one in here that's really great. Like if I was to go to, let me go back to the main page on add-ons, language support. And in language support, they have a whole bunch of them in here. Quick translation. Top downloads are listed in here. Um, there's a recently added top rated ones. Now here's one, Kanji Lish. Sounds like something that's going to convert like Chinese to English or something. Let me click on that one and see what it is. Okay, so here's one that you can add. And this is an add-on that allows you to practice Japanese or Chinese characters when you read English or other languages by replacing the first letter or entire word with a character. So that it's uh, like the examples that they show right here to help you to learn the Chinese characters, to recognize them. So this can help you to develop your skills in language. And there's lots of these plugins in here. They're free. They don't cost anything. They do have some donations where you can contribute. I encourage you to do that. People that do a lot of stuff that's free out there on the web, if you have the money, if you like it, donate to it. Try it out for a bit. Make sure you come back to the site and, and contribute a little bit of money just so they can continue to develop it and improve it. Because if you don't, they may not bother to improve it, to update it to the new version of Firefox. For instance, Firefox 4 is supposed to be coming out sometime soon, probably sometime this year in 2009. The new version of this program may not be created if nobody donates any money. They're figuring, well, nobody must be using it. So it would be good to let them know that, uh, that you like it and uh, contribute a little bit of money for, for their time if you find it really helpful. Okay, so there's gobs of these little plugins. Check them out. Explore. Um, Lots of these little things uh, to manage them. Uh, if you have some favorites, be sure to mention them on our blog and I, so I can check them out. Um, one of my favorites is Cool Iris. Now, have I installed that on this one, I wonder? Let me see my add-ons here. Uh, add-ons, extensions, Cool Iris, I did. Now, Cool Iris is kind of neat. Let me show you what this one does. Um, cool Iris, basically, when you do a search, for instance, if I go to, like up here in a Google search, and I do a search for, let's see, let's try Ask the Techies. And when you do, in Google, there's a button up here to click for images. And what you do is you get a whole list of images. Some of these are from our website, some are not, such as this one. Um, but what you could do is you can click on the Cool Iris button, and then you can kind of scroll through the images in a three-dimensional way kind of go through them, and then if you want, you can click on that, and then if you want to actually view the, uh, down here's a link where you can actually view the image, you click on that, and there's the original image. That's why it was a little pixelated, it was a little small. Click back, and here we are again to these images. So it's a way for you graphically to look at this. Let me uh, close this out, and let me go to videos, and here's some videos, and again, I can do the cool iris thing because it can actually browse the videos. Now, it's not showing the icons here for some reason. Uh, some of these are not having, having a little bit of a bug, so I can see a reflection of them down here. Um, but you click on that, and it'll play the video directly inside that window, how to zoom in on a computer screen. It's having a little bit of a glitch, it looks like. But in there, over here, one thing I should point out to you is there's channels in Cool Iris. And this is all, you know, integrated into your browser, so it can make your browsing experience nice. So if I come over here and I go to TV episodes, I can easily browse through them. Again, I'm just clicking this little blue bar and sliding it off. You can also just kind of drag it this way, too. And I go, oh, wait a minute, I saw John Stewart. I like John Stewart. He's funny. Okay, let's click on that. And then it's going to play the video for you right there, which is really nice. And there's the video. And you click off to hit the side here, and it gets you out of there.